I'm the Disc Golf Guy and this is my video blog. We are joined here in the DiscNation.com winner circle by, well, your 2011 Memorial Open champion, Paul McBeth. Paul, how does it feel? It feels wonderful. I mean, I'm just now getting my heart back to normal. It's, it's, it's exciting. Beating hard, I'm sure. Uh, I heard when you had your first interview right after the win, uh, our other interviewer could uh, feel your heartbeat from a foot away, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't... It's, it's getting there. So for everyone at home that's watching, how old are you? 20. You're 20 right now. You finished a few years ago. The first time I met you was in 2007. You finished second at the Am Worlds in Wisconsin, and you've done nothing but elevate, elevate your game ever since. Uh, tell everybody at home what it's like to be at this level. Um, it's just determination. You really gotta, you really gotta work for it to get here, and it's, it's amazing. Once you, once you play pro, you just don't want to play anything else. So coming here and playing, what were your expectations? I mean, I know you, everybody wants to win. Everyone that enters the tournament wants to win. Did you have anything specifically in mind walking into the event? Um, get ahead and stay ahead. I mean, last year I was up for a bit, but I kind of fell off. And this year I kept it together that final round. So Ken Climo made a charge, or, you know, the single best player of all time, made a charge at you on the second day by coming out here and shooting a 44, which is a pretty hot score. You were, you didn't score quite as well as you'd like to. Uh, take us through maybe your round at Vista yesterday, which was just insane. Is that a good way to put it, at least yeah. to start? Yeah, Vista, I mean, I was just on fire. I mean, I was surprised with myself. <laughs> and then just two holes in my last four, I just skipped OB, and there's just bad breaks, but I kept it together for the last two. You're feeling it, you're in the group. So you came out here today. Uh, there was a lot of action on the leader card, actually. In fact, when we met earlier, you said you want a drama-free round, and I think it was exactly not that. It was the opposite. <laughs> it seemed like we had people going out of bounds, and spectators, and cameras, and crews. Uh, tell us a little bit about the experience of playing with such a large gallery. Um, the gallery didn't really get to me, but it was kind of all the weird calls that were going on. And it was just hard to get in the groove when everything was people getting hit, this staying in bounds, hitting the wall. It's just it's tough to get in the groove. So as good of a player as you are, tell everyone at home maybe your top two or three drivers that, or I'm sorry, top two or three discs that you were throwing this weekend. Um, destroyers until they went into the water. <laughs> and okay. Then, and then it turned into a T-bird and my, my aviar just saved me today, my putter. Clearly one of the smoothest forms in the game. Everybody should be taking our footage and slowing it down to one one hundredth speed so that they can see what you do. You throw so fluidly and smoothly, it's awesome. Well, that's all that we got here. It's been a lot of great action for you guys. We're going to catch up with some other winners, show you a ton of footage. And for now, this is Paul McBath, your 2011 Memorial Open champion. Very special footage here today. I am joined by one of the biggest distance throwers in the world, UC Maresma of Disc Mania. How are you doing today, UC? Good, thank you. Good, good. So you've got a lot of exciting things going on, including big tournaments, new lines of discs, throwing big distance shots, competing well. Is there anything you don't do? Uh, I try to avoid bad putting, but uh, <laughs> that's thing that I'm working on. Sometimes that rears its ugly head, I'm sure, once yeah. in a while on you. All right, let's 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 get right into it with uh, some of your tournaments. Okay. Uh, you're the tournament director for the President's Cup, and then this year the European Open, is that correct? Correct. We are having the, the PDGA Major uh, the 21st, the 24th of July, and the day before that we're going to have the President's Cup unique team event between the U.S. and Europe. And the President's Cup is a really unique event because it takes some of the best players in the world and it puts them in more of a match play team style format, uh, challenging each other. Uh, last year, DiscGolfPlanet.tv put together the Honor Above All documentary, which I feel like was very professionally done and really shows everyone just how good all of our disc golfers can look. So that's awesome that you were part of that. Uh, the European Open, you want to give a quick plug for that as well? Yeah, sure. Uh, we're going to have a big event. The tournament field will be about 170 players and especially the U.S. representation will be strong this year. So I'm hoping for uh, the highest level tournament in Europe history. Wow, so that's a lot of things. People can travel internationally to go play in a couple of great events. And as the owner of Disc Mania, you are working on some pretty exciting things there. Tell everyone a little bit about that. 
Yeah, sure. Uh, we are coming up actually right now, uh, the 7th of March, we are coming up with the new Sea line plastic for Discmania. It's a big launch for us and you can actually check the pretty cool video on our website. It's uh, discmania.net. Uh, lots of exciting things to come. Wow, so throwing discs far and new discs and owning a disc golf company, truly living a dream. You're competing in the big distance competitions all over the country uh, and all over the world, so that's really exciting. And I would imagine your Disc Mania line and other discs are all available on our primary sponsor, DiscNation.com. Yeah. So feel free, please go out and support DiscNation.com as they are a supporter of the Disc Golf Guy video blog. So, well, this is UC Maresma, uh, an international ambassador of disc golf in every possible way and a great disc golfer and all-around great guy and uh, well I'm the disc golf guy and I don't throw nearly as far as you see